The Hafeiru Dual Antejo is a confident guardian dog breed with brave, calm and independent personality. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the Hafeiru Dual Antejo. I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you would like the Hafeiru Dual Antejo and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. The Hafeiru Dual Antejo is a powerful and large sized dog breed with rustic and strong appearance. The average height is between 64 to 74 cm, which is 25 to 29 inches, and weight is usually between 35 to 60 kg, which is 77 to 132 pounds. Females are naturally slightly smaller than males. The breed has massively broad head with rounded skull, very expressive small dark brown eyes, relatively small triangular ears and nose, eye rims and lips in black color. The breed also has a relatively short neck, white and deep chest and long tail. Overall this is a very muscular and powerful dog breed. The coat of Rafeiru Dual Antejo is in short to medium length, but it's very dense and it's providing the dog good protection even in harsh weather. The coat is straight and you can find it in several colors, including black, yellow, gray or fawn, either brindled or not. According to the FCA breed standard, the Rafeiru Dual Antejo should always have some white markings on its body. The Hafeiru Dual Antejo is exceptionally good farm, property and livestock guardian dog breed. To be good at guarding, this breed must be very confident, smart and alert and it is exactly what this breed is like. They are capable of protecting the flock against very strong predators or any intruders. These dogs can also be used in a big game hunting, but it's not their main utilization. These dogs are known to be more vigilant during the night when the protection job is more needed. Because of their natural protective instinct, these dogs are suspicious and alert with strangers. But they should not be aggressive without a reason. This is a defense dog, not an attack dog. But it takes time before a stranger will gain a trust of this dog breed. Around its pack, around its family, this is very calm, gentle and friendly dog breed. They would defend its owners when needed and even though they might not be overly affectionate like some other breeds, they definitely love its family. These dogs are also very loyal to its pack and they can live with kids, but of course you should never leave any dog breed with a very young child unsupervised. Of course, this is not a dog breed for everyone and novice or unexperienced dog owners shouldn't take this dog breed. It is because of their large size, big strength, independent and let's say stubborn nature and of course because of the protective instinct. Because of all these traits, these dogs need experienced owner who will train them and socialize them from the puppyhood firmly but kindly, patiently and consistently. The history and origins of this breed are surrounded by mystery and no one is really sure when these dogs originated and what are the breed's ancestors. The FCA breed standards state that the ancestors should be large molossal dogs from the Middle East. On account of their size and courage, they were used by people whose livelihood depends on livestock husbandry, thus performing a crucial role for this type of community. Dogs of this type were used for a long time in Portugal for annual transhumance of livestock to summer pastures and mountains and then later back to the plateau of Alentejo in winter. These routes were long and thanks to that the dogs spread to different regions. As the population settled down, the dogs eventually remained in the southern prairies, the Alentejo plains, where they adapted and began to be used to guard. The breed is known as Rafeiru do Alentejo since the late 19th century and it was officially accepted by the FCI in 1954. The Hafeiru Dual Antejo has a dense double coat which sheds some deal of fur all year long, more heavily during the shedding seasons. If you want to minimize the shedding, then regular brushing is recommended. No other grooming is necessary and the dog can keep the coat in very good condition by itself. Just like with any other breed, you should regularly check the dog's ears, eyes, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. 
There are no scientific studies about the breed's health, but it should usually be a very healthy dog breed. Just like with any other large breed, there are some health problems that can occur, but they don't occur very often. Those would include hip and elbow dysplasia and some other joint problems or bloating. The lifespan of this breed is around 12 or 13 years. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Raffaeiro Duolantejo and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocadogs links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.